In other news, as Israeli politics shift, so too is the American political and diplomatic guard. And with it, America's ambassador to Israel, David Friedman, who's set to complete his term in Jerusalem today. Unlike President Trump, however, who is reportedly refusing to attend the inauguration for President-elect Joe Biden, Friedman is offering his full cooperation in the transition of duties to his successor from the coming administration. And touting the enduring strength of the Israel-U.S. relationship as a fundamental value of the nation, Friedman says that he'd like to congratulate President-elect Joe Biden and humbly offers whatever assistance that may be required. During Friedman's tenure as ambassador, he was reportedly the driving force behind the many changes in, in White House policy towards the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and in the Middle East, changes that have irreversibly affected the narrative surrounding the conflict as well. His accomplishments including influencing the official recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital and the moving of the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem in kind. Also the cutting of financial aid to the Palestinian Authority over payments to convicted terrorists and the declaration of Israeli settlements as part of Israel proper and no longer a so-called impediment to peace.